nanohub.org. Online simulation and more for nanotechnology. Welcome on behalf of the College of Engineering and, and Purdue University. Um, I know that uh, uh, about a quarter of you, I think, are from, from the outside. So um, one of the things that, so I, the faculty pretty, from Purdue pretty much know what, uh, you know, a lot of our initiatives are. You're going to be hearing this afternoon from Dean Meng Chang, uh, who is a bundle of energy. And so he's going to be on one of the panels. And I think, you know, you'll hear, he'll, he'll engage, uh, particularly from his own expertise point of view. Uh, so I'm going to welcome you a little bit more generally. The, um, this center, for those of you that are not, uh, from Purdue, bears France Court of his name. And if you go up the stairs and when you go to one of the breakout rooms, you're going to see her picture. She was a champion, uh, of this, as was another very famous person, Drew Brees. Um, so Drew Brees, as an alum, one of our, during one of the times when we had a good football team, and, you know, he continues playing, waiting until we can graduate another one to go into the NFL. Um, but he's been, and his wife have been very generous and have uh, provided um, support for, uh, particularly for student activities. And so this center, which uh, those of you that are students has probably been here ever since you've been here, but I came 10 years ago and it wasn't here then. Uh, and the previous facilities were pretty terrible. So I think that, uh, you know, we're really proud of it. And uh, this shows also the um, uh, the attempt in the College of Engineering to help everybody be fit. Indiana's not at the top of the list in terms of fit states. So, you know, th this is, is our attempt at that. In the College of Engineering, since Mung came, then we have... Um, we were, the, his, uh, arrival was preceded by five years of hiring. And so those of us that had, you know, were in any of the schools, we went to more seminars per unit time in that period than, than ever in my career. Uh, because we were hiring faculty. And so during that time, we hired a hundred and overall, I think it was 107 faculty. And that's in addition to replacements. Uh, you know, from people that left or, or retired. So one of the things that happens as a result of that is you have a lot of people that need to connect. They need to connect no within their school, across the, the college, across the university. And so that's, a, you know, a, takes some time. And one of the things that Hmong, uh, as a new uh, arrival, discovered was in addition to the people who had just arrived recently, then a lot of faculty in this college didn't know about each other. Um, and so with a bigger, a greater emphasis on interdisciplinary research for the really big problems, then that was becoming, you know, a critical issue. So with the help of the schools, we um, put together 10 what we called engineering faculty conversations. And they were in a, a range of, of uh, topics. And actually, the very first one was cyber and physical systems, the Internet of Things. And so you were our first experiment. Uh, we invited people to sign up. We served them lunch. We had, a you know, a couple of hours in total of that whole um, session. Uh, and the idea was to sort of plant the seed. Um, we also had some small seed grants. Um, but one of the requirements was you could not, you and your team could not all be from the same school. And you, you were evaluated as well if you had already worked together. That was a low score. Usually, you know, that's a high score because it shows that you're going to be productive. Well, no, that was, we had a different goal. And so we funded some of those. We've continued with other topics that, um, you know, are related, I think, to, to this, uh, um, initiative uh, of associated with resilience. We had one in data science and engineering, future manufacturing, human in the loop. Uh, most recently, one in smart cities and power energy in the environment. So, and there will be one in the future on security and privacy. So, there's just a lot of topics. So, then coming out of these ten, you know, you would you begin to see some communities that form and some people that start working together, but it takes time. You have to have a long vision. You can't, you know, expect immediate uh, results. 
Um, one of the, the difficult things that we found within the co these, these groups, because they hadn't worked together, and because the reinforcement uh, that you, know, you get in terms of your career is really not to spend time reaching out and learning new things, but to you know, keep producing at the fastest rate you possibly can and accelerate that over time if possible, which keeps you pretty narrow. And so uh, as we move forward, and then at the same time, the um, Discovery Park had these big idea challenges. And so they were, it's inherently supposed to be interdisciplinary. And so all of those experiences helped us learn that, you know, there's a huge communication problem. You can't just throw people together and expect them to work together. So we have to, again, to uh, invest. And that's why I ask in the beginning, in part, how many postdocs and how many grad students are here. Because you're the most important people. You're the ones that are going to make this happen. And it's not just happening here, but in your future career, for in that long game, it really matters. And so, um, you know, people that would not speak up in a big group meeting would speak up in some of these meetings that were on the side between grad students and postdocs, like, I really don't understand this. And so, you know, the grad student that is an expert would explain it and they would begin to, to engage. And so, you know, this benefits everyone. So moving forward, we're not going to do 10 more topics. What we're going to do is in the upcoming years is we're going to consolidate these, uh, some ideas that have come out of them. And we're, you know, Hmong is really big on acronyms. So the next one is Purdue Engineering Initiatives. And so there are going to be some topics and there's going to be, you know, four or five that are going to be um, sort of the, the next uh, initiatives which are going to be going for bigger opportunities and trying to consolidate some of these ideas, um, in, include them in some of the uh, new coursework that we're developing, some center development, faculty hiring, et cetera. So that's what we'll be looking at for the next four to five years. The other thing we believe is things have to change. You know, once something becomes um, designated as a center or as an initiative, it just never seems to go away, even if it's irrelevant. They just, you know, we just keep pushing it down the line. So these are going to be for a finite period of time for five years maybe, with the idea that new things will come out of them and, you know, they will lead forward. And, and so that would be, you know, defined over time. So once again, I just want to welcome you. Um, this is a really uh, great topic to be, you know, covering. I know most of you are algorithmically oriented. Um, and so there's a lot of breadth there, but then maybe the next step would be to engage. I did see Peter here uh, with some uh, more deeply with some of the people who are in specific domains, uh, domain experts, uh, as well as in the more physical systems. And uh, so I, you know, I, my hat's off to you. Um, I, how many of you made it to the seven o'clock spin class? I was asked because I go to that class, not here, but in another place, that class with uh, a number of people that um, are here. Where were you at this morning? Well, I was at holding down the fort, holding down the bike in, the, in you know, our traditional class. So um, I hope that all of you uh, drink a lot of coffee uh, because we know that if you worked hard, they'll wear you out. Uh, but I'm sure it'll be a really stimulating conversation you know, throughout the day and that'll keep you going as well. So thank you very much.